welcome to Automation of the Week. My name is Brian Hayes, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the campaign record in Salesforce and its statuses to report on handoffs between marketing and sales. And we're going to use a flow to make the process a little bit easier. Every Tuesday, we'll show you another automation in Salesforce or account engagement or another tool to help you improve your business. So today, let's take a look at a campaign record. Now, the idea is we're going to create a new campaign and we're going to have custom statuses that essentially recreates a funnel. Maybe our first campaign member status will just be enrolled. We've got a lead who's enrolled in our campaign. And then if they take some action, we can update their status to MQL. And if it's an MQL, we'll want to pass that lead over to sales. Now, this is usually where most people's reporting and automation stops. It's when it gets handed over to sales. At that point, there's not always a lot of follow-up to understand what happened afterwards. So we can add two additional statuses. We can have an SQL for sales qualified lead, and then another status for sales disqualified. We'll call that SD. And by having all of these statuses on one campaign, we can easily see how many people did we enroll in this campaign, how many got handed to sales, and then what happened to them afterwards. How many were accepted by sales as an SQL, and then how many were disqualified by sales. With that information, you can understand what's the quality of these leads that you're sending over to sales and what's happening to them after you do that. The first thing we're going to do is create a campaign record and then those custom campaign member statuses within it. And then we'll create a flow. So whenever that lead is updated by sales, when that status is updated to qualified or converted, we'll then update that leads campaign member status as well. So you don't have to rely on the salesperson to update that for you or you don't have to go back afterwards and update all those statuses yourself. Let's get started. First thing to do, let's create a new campaign. And we're gonna call this example fun. I'm gonna mark this as active. And then for the type, I'm just gonna put other for now. You can of course fill out all these other fields to help you stay more organized. On our campaign record here, we've got the campaign member statuses related list already created. If you don't see this, click the gear in the upper right hand corner go to the object manager and then to page layouts and you can add it there. We've got two statuses here by default and because I'm connected to Pardot, we're gonna have a third status that'll pop up here in just a couple minutes, but we'll ignore that third one. For now, let's change that sent status to enrolled. Click the down arrow on the right-hand side and hit edit and then click save. One thing when updating these statuses that can be helpful is actually to number them because then you can easily sort them later in reports. So I'm gonna call this one, then enrolled. For our responded status, let's edit that. And let's call this two MQL. I'm gonna add another status here. This will be three SQL. We'll mark that as responded as well. And then we'll do a fourth one too. And this will be a sales disqualified lead. And hit save. There's our four statuses. And then there's that other connected status I mentioned would pop up just cause I'm connected to account engagement right now. We'll just ignore that. We don't need to use that in our reporting or, or anywhere else. Now that we have our statuses, you can see that we'd start somebody in the enrolled status. And then when they do something that makes them an MQL, maybe it is some interaction within Pardot or another tool, we would then update them to an MQL. And depending on the marketing tool you're using, maybe you create a task for a salesperson. Maybe you update that lead to be assigned to a salesperson. And then once it's been passed to sales, we're going to have that lead when it's updated update the status here to either SQL or SD for sales disqualified. Our next step now is to create an automation that's going to update this campaign member status when the lead status is changed. Let's take a look at one of our leads. Here's one, uh, Jeff Glimpse. Here's a sample lead we've got for Jeff Glimpse. You can see that we've got a couple different statuses here, open, not contacted, working, contacted, closed, not converted, and converted. So we'll use these two. We'll use close not converted to represent a sales disqualified lead and then converted to represent a sales qualified lead. Under related, I'm gonna add this lead to our campaign just so we've got a campaign member status to work with when we get to the flow. I'll call this example funnel here and hit next. And we'll leave them at our default status of enrolled. Now let's build the flow. Click the gear in the upper right hand corner and then go to your flows menu. Click new flow in the upper right. We're gonna create a record triggered flow. It's when that lead record is updated, that's gonna be our trigger to change the campaign member status. The object is gonna be lead. 
and we'll choose when a record is updated. And then for our condition requirements, we only want this to happen if the status is updated. And specifically, we only want this to happen when the status equals either close converted or closed not converted. Choose those two conditions and then change the condition requirements from and to or. The other thing we want to mark is the second option here. We only want this to run when a record is updated to meet these condition requirements. We don't want this to run all the time just because it's edited and happens to be in that closed, not converted state. And this is going to update related records. So choose the default here, the second option of actions and related records and click done. Our flow is started. Now what we need to do is find the ID for the campaign that we created. Because what we want to do is update the campaign member record whose lead ID is equal to our lead and whose campaign ID is equal to the campaign that we care about. It's a junction object that sits between the lead and the campaign record. It can also actually be related to a contact record, but we're not going to deal with that right now. So the first thing to do is to get our campaign. The reason why we want to do this is because we don't want to copy and paste the ID of our campaign into our automation. That's called hard coding IDs. You don't want to do that because the ID of a record will change from a sandbox or a developer environment into production. And if you've got different IDs that are hard coded into your flows, they're not going to work well. You won't be able to test them easily and then push them into production. Let's call this get campaign. The object that we want is the campaign object. And we want specifically the campaign whose name is equal to example funnel or whatever you call your campaign. We come back over here. You can see the name of this campaign is example funnel. And so we're going to get that record in order for it to return the ID that we've got in the URL here so that it's flexible. If we push this into a sandbox and recreate this campaign, then it'll still work as long as we name it the same. We don't have to rely on those IDs. So name equals example funnel. It's not going to be uh, sorted. We're only going to get the first record here. And we don't need all the fields for this. All we need actually is the first field. So we're going to choose choose fields and let Salesforce do the rest. And you can see that ID, it's already captured. That's the first field that Salesforce gets by default. We don't need any additional fields. So let's just leave the rest of this blank and hit done. Now that we've gotten the campaign, we've got the ID within our flow that we can reference. Our next step is to put in a decision. So we want to check what status our lead is. And depending on that status, we'll go a different route. I'm going to call this lead status. For our new outcome, the first one will be called closed, not converted. And then let's add another outcome here, which will be closed, converted. For our resource, scroll down to the bottom where that global variable is for the lead record that started our flow, and then search for the status field. So we want this path to be used when status is closed dash converted. And same thing with our other option here. Go down to the global variable for the record, search for the status field, and then have that be equal to closed, not converted. And for our default outcome, we'll just leave that as is. Hit done. Now, if it goes down the default outcome, let's just end the flow. We don't need to update anything. Clearly, something happened. Um, maybe there's some other status that had triggered this. Now, based on the triggers for our flow, no lead should go down this default outcome. It should either be closed converted or closed not converted. Just in case we make a mistake somewhere, we've got this default exit path, essentially, in case we need it. If it goes down close, not converted, let's add an update step here. So we want to update a record. We'll say update campaign member status. And we're going to specify the conditions to identify the records that we want. The object that we're interested in is the campaign member object. And we want a campaign member whose lead ID is equal to our record and whose campaign ID is equal to that campaign we just got in the previous step. So scroll down to where we've got campaign from our get campaign step, and then find the ID for that record. For our lead ID, this is our global variable again. So scroll down to that record global variable, and then find the ID for that lead. So this is going to find that record that is related to both the campaign we care about and the lead that's in our flow. And the field we want to update is the status field. So choose status. And here we've got all the different statuses that have been 
created and used within our campaigns. And we can see our status for number four SD for sales disqualified is there. Click that and hit done. Same thing under close converted. So we're going to copy that update step and just paste it over here on the close converted path. Our conditions are the same. We want that same campaign member record. It's related to the lead. It's related to the campaign. But our status update is going to be different. We don't want it to be set to sales disqualified. We want it to be set to sales qualified. Hit three there and then click done. And then the flow just ends. If you want to make it a little bit cleaner, we can add an end step here. And I think that's a little visually a little bit easier to understand. Click save and call this lead update campaign member status and hit save. I'm going to click activate here and then we'll test this out in our developer environment. Come back to our campaign. We've got one lead that's already enrolled. So that campaign member record does exist for this person. If we come here to their lead record, we can then update the status and we'll see if that updates the campaign member status. So right now it's an open, not contacted. I'm going to change it to close, not converted. And let's mark that as the status. Now, if we look at related, we can see example funnel is the campaign that they're enrolled in. And the status is number four, sales disqualified. Okay, let's try this again. And this time we'll convert them and see how that works. Here's a different lead, Kathy Snyder. I'm going to relate Kathy to our campaign. Example funnel. I'm going to start with the status of just being enrolled or default status. And now I'm going to convert this lead. Hit select converted status. We'll convert it to an account, convert it to a contact. And I'm not going to create an opportunity. You can see here converted status will be closed dash converted. Then hit convert. And we can see under this contact, the related campaign history, that this contact has now been marked as SQL, a sales qualified lead. We can go back to our campaign and we can see that we've got two different people. One was sales disqualified. The other one was sales qualified. Now that we have those campaign member statuses, it's really easy to run a report on it. And you can see exactly how all of the campaign members have moved through that funnel even after you hand off a lead to sales. And that'll do it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.